be making bases. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your man, Evan J. Music, owner of Beat Making Basics. And in today's video, we're going to be making our own samples or sample loops using the piano roll. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe so you know when I'm going to post. And make sure you also like and comment on the video so I know how you like the video or if we need to do something different. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this again. What we're going to be doing in this video is making our own sample loops that we can use and, uh, you know, using the piano roll. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a software instrument track and select alchemy. Press create. And now we have our track created. After you do that, go ahead and scroll down to alchemy. Open that up just by clicking on it. And what I usually get this thing started with is leads. So you have different categories and everything within um, within Alchemy. And so you can go down to leads and then we can just start scrolling through uh, sounds here. In order to audition the sounds, what I'm going to do is push on um, the musical musical typing here. That's cool. So we're actually going to use this Pescado Wet Cave. I think that sounds pretty dope. So you can use obviously whatever you want, but, uh, you know, just fit, pick a sound that you like. After that, what we're going to be doing is drawing in the instruments or the instrument sounds and the notes using the piano roll. So you just click on the scissors. All right. Now, if you're new to the soft, excuse me, if you're new to the software, Pretty much you can, um, these are the notes of the keyboard and anywhere where you see like a, a line, that's going to be one of the black keys and anywhere we see like a lighter line, that's going to be the white keys. If you hold down command, you can actually click in notes here. And essentially what you want to do is, you know, you can sound the notes out by playing them and then click to add a note in. You can drag it by going left and right, and then you can come to the end of it to shorten the notes. For now, I'm not gonna make this overly complicated as far as the pattern. I wanna keep it simple. I'm just gonna come up here and drag this on out to the very end. And once you find a note length that you're comfortable with, all you had to do is click it. And now you can get that same note length wherever you want on the keyboard. So how I create my own like melodies is I just go ahead and push play. And then I can find out where I want to put it based on how I hear it coming in. If you like what you just played and you want to just copy and paste it, what you could do is highlight it, push down com, um, option, and just drag it on over. cool so once you get that sample pretty much going you can adjust the uh, tempo of it I actually want to make it a little faster than that
you can also come in here back into the alchemy um, setting here and you can like say if you don't want that much delay which I, do, I actually don't you can just turn the delay down or adjust any of this stuff over here Cool. So we got a dope melody now. What you can now do is drag that melody, even though it is a uh, MIDI file, and drag it over here to a new track. So what I'm doing is I'm coming, taking it and dragging it over here, right under this now, and going to the quick sampler. We're going to go to optimized. All right, and see now what we have here is a brand new track, okay? But it's going to be as an audio file. So I'm gonna pull up this uh, musical typing just so we can kind of see what's going on. And you can literally just play on different parts of the song, on, on different parts of this uh, sample you just created. Or you can come over here, this is on uh, Slice, or you can come over here to uh, the classic version and just hold it down. You can play it up an octave if you want it. Now that's pretty much a full complete sample. You can not from here is just really taking this uh this um sampler here and adjusting it if you want to. I can take it down a couple notches. I can make it glide. I can turn on the filter. So, but for the most part, that's just what I wanted to show you is that you can actually come in here and create your own samples. Like you don't have to use other people's samples. You can go in here, um, go to, close, close this out. You can go in here, click on the scissors and just draw your own notes in. Um, and then after you create your pattern, you can take it and drag it over here to this area and then bring it over here into this sampler. And the cool thing about this is like, say if I wanted to bring this up later and play it in other uh, productions or beats and stuff like that, I can go to factory and default and click save as, and I can like name it. I can say Pitts Cave. And now I have access to this particular sample whenever I want it. I can play it in a classic version. I can one shot it. I can slice it. Let me see where I find it. It's pretty cool looking. And then you can come over here and adjust it. So that's pretty much the video, man. If y'all like this video again, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. And I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.